I'm so happy to see you again. Remember, I'm Miss Joy, and today we are going to do a story together. And we're going to talk about the different parts of our story like we have been doing. We're going to talk about our characters. Remember, characters can be animals or people. We're going to talk about where did our story take place. What time was it in our story? Was it day or night? We have a problem in our story, friends. And then we're going to talk about how was our problem solved. So here's the cover of my book. And my the name of my book is A Color of His Own. Friends, do you know what kind of animal that is on the front? This guy right here, this colorful guy? He's a chameleon. That's a silly name, isn't it, for an animal? Let's see what happens to the chameleon. A color of his own. Parrots are green. Goldfish are red. Elephants are gray and pigs are pink. All animals have a color of their own. Except for chameleons, they change color wherever they go. On lemons, they are yellow. In the heather, they are purple. See, he's standing in purple flowers, and so he's purple. And on the tiger, they are striped just like tigers. Friends, I'm wondering if you have an idea why chameleons change color when they're on different things. I want you to think about that for a minute. One day, a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, if I remain on a leaf, then I will be green forever. And so I too will have a color of my own. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the green leaf and he turned green. But in autumn, the leaf turned a yellow orange. And so did the chameleon. Later, the leaf turned red and the chameleon turned red too. And when the winter winds blew, the leaf fell from the branch and the chameleon fell down too. Oh no. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. Look, here he is, he's black. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass and there he met another chameleon. Now there's two. He told his sad story. We won't ever have a color of our own, he cried. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, chameleon who was older and wiser. But, he added, we won't, but, he added, why don't we stay together? We will change colors wherever we go, but I will be like you and you will be like me. And so they remained side by side. They were green together. They were purple together and they were yellow together. And white with, and red with white polka dots and they lived happily ever after together. And all right, friends, let's talk about our parts of the story. Who are the characters in my story? Yep, it was a chameleon. Look at that long word, starts with a C, chameleon, ends with an N. Friends, where did our story take place? Where did that chameleon live? kind of on the grass and in the trees. So I'm going to put grass. And what about the time? Did our story take place during the day or at night? It was mostly during the day. So I'm going to put day. Now, chameleon has a problem. I wrote, remember, when we put letters together, they make words. So I put the words chameleon has a problem. What was his problem? He didn't like that he changed colors. 
Remember, anything he went on, he would change that color. And I asked you that question, why do you think he changed colors? It's to protect him so that um, other animals that like to eat chameleons can't see him because he blends in and becomes the same color as whatever he's on. All right, friends, how did we solve the problem? How did chameleon solve the problem? Do you remember? He met another chameleon and they were gonna be the same color together. And they lived happily ever after. And Miss Joy thinks maybe they were in love. They loved each other. Friends, thank you for joining me today for our story. I hope that you enjoyed it. Next time we're gonna do something different. So stay tuned for next week. Bye friends.